Hey, how's it going everyone? It's awesome to be able to talk to you guys again. Know how much I love you. And I know I tell you all the time. What I want to talk to you guys about is this, is, is, is that sometimes we might wonder or question why God allows things to happen. Especially more negative things, I suppose. Why, 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 why does God allow us to, to have to go through things that, that well, that's kind of stink. Here's the thing. The short of it is this, is that God, God's way is not our way. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. What I mean is to say, because I know that sounds kind of sounds kind of rough, but uh, what I mean to say is that sometimes God is going to take these these negative things that are happening, these things that, that seem like they're are not good, not good, joyful things, and He's going to use them to draw us closer to Him. And some people might want to say, God, why why are you letting these things go on? I used to have uh, I used to have brain cancer. And that, that wasn't very awesome. <laughs> I, and I remember before I knew God, before I had a relationship with God, I, I, I used to think that God, the reason that, I, the reason that I had cancer, the reason that I had cancer is because God wanted me dead. But, but then I, I, I found out later, this, this is what's so incredible, I found out later that the reason I had cancer was so that God could manifest his works in me. More simply stated is that the reason I had cancer was so that God could take it away, right? Because I didn't come to know God because I had cancer. I didn't, wasn't drawn to God because I had cancer. I was drawn to God because he took it away. Through this, God gets glory. God, his glory is shown, his glory is manifested through what he was able to do through my cancer. So sometimes, it might not seem fair what's going on, so, I mean, especially like during this whole COVID-19 time. Um, I, I realize things are, for some of us, are, are, are fairly rough. I have uh, some family members that are going through a rough time right now. And it seems, things, things might not seem joyous, but it's okay. Because God is using this time. For whoever you are out there, God is using this time to try to draw you to him. Right, because what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to he's going to take you out of this circumstance just so this way you can see what he's done for you, so that he can receive the glory and that you can receive the goodness that he has for you because that's our God. Our God is a good and loving God, and that's what he has for you. And the problem the problem really is us. The problem is people because here's here's God. God loves us so much, right? He he gives us food. He gives us jobs, he gives us money, he gives us homes, he gives us cars, and he gave us his only son. I mean, come on. He gave us his only son so that we could be forgiven from our sins. He gave us all of this and more, plus way more, and yet it still hasn't brought so many to him. And so sometimes he's got to wake us up and say, hey, I really want a relationship with you. I want to get to know you because let's face it, sometimes we don't want God. But whether or not, that, that, that's irrelevant because the fact is the God that created everything wants you. And that's why he allows things to happen in our lives because he wants to bring us closer to him. Amen? Amen. All right. God bless, guys. Love you.